guys and welcome back to another train simulator video and today we're going to be doing a scenario called the last day where we'll be driving from West Croydon to Wimbledon and then Wimbledon back towards West Croydon so yeah that's going to be really really fun we are using the Armstrong Powerhouse class 456 in the Connex livery so this route is a fan made route they made it themselves and um, yeah, um, I'm gonna say it's a pretty short route but it is a route that I haven't driven in train simulator because it doesn't exist so I thought let me buy it, not buy it but try it out for free. Let's on the lights. The front light's good. Not too sure how to on the rear lights. Um, cause there's a tail lights um, button, but I don't think it works. So I'm not too sure how to on the tail lights on the Armstrong Powerhouse Class Four Five Six. Unless you have to go to the rear cab, so we can try. It. Um. Yeah, that's not doing anything, is it? Okay, never mind. That's also prop real. Yeah, that looks good. The head headlamp and marker lights. Oh, that looks all good. Um, instrument lights. Cab lights we can turn off because we don't need that. A signal builder. And yeah, we are ready to go. Open the what you call it? Windows. And yeah, we're starting at West Croydon, which is a bit weird because I've never started at West Croydon and continued this way. Normally it would terminate here and it go towards that side, but this time we're going down here towards Wimbledon, so that's kind of cool. Okay, I think we're departing at 10.43. So we're going to be calling at Wadden, Biddington Lane, Mitcham Junction, Mitcham, Morden Road, Merton Park, Wimbledon. And then be going all the way back towards West Croydon. All stations to Wimbledon. Let's do this. So you only get one scenario with uh, the route, so you do need to own the. Um, I believe it's called the London Transport Heritage Route. Obviously, the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 456, and um, I believe the Dotal Games uh, London Waterloo to Portsmouth Route as well. So, make sure you have those in your inventory, I guess. And then you'll be able to play this uh, route with all the scenery you work in and all that. But hopefully, because the scenery wasn't actually working for me, so I decided to buy the Heritage Transporter DLC. Just show, just so the um, what do you call it, the actual uh, signs and all that appear. Hopefully they appear, but if not, then I guess it doesn't want to work for me. But yeah, our first stop is Warden Marsh. Now I'm going to be turning off. Let me quickly check something. Where does this go anyway? This goes towards Warden. Interesting. I believe we were, if we were going to Warden, we would go towards Sutton as well, but I don't think we go to Sutton on this route. Yeah, Sutton is not on this route, unfortunately. And this seems to be like a single piece of track uh, route as well, so that's interesting.
Decent route actually. Scenery looks really nice. I think those are the correct lights at the front, but if not, then let me know. <laughs> and there's a few uh, scenarios that you get with the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 4 by 6 on like the South London network, I believe, so stay tuned for that. Okay, we're arriving at Wadden Marsh, so let's slow down. We are only driving a two car train, so pretty small train. I think we've overshot it. Yeah, we have. Slightly overshot it, that's okay. The front doors might not open. Yeah, the front doors are not opening, unfortunately, but the back doors are. So please make your way towards the rear coach to depart the station. And yeah, the scenery is loading up now. Basically, this was unloading up. Anyways. <laughs> Next station, Bennington Lane. With the uh, Network Southeast um, logo at the bottom. Good old style bus as well, 38. That's actually really, really cool. What bus is that? That one doesn't have a bus number, but. Yeah, really, really cool. Yeah, I should swivel all the fan as well, which is really, really cool. Not too sure where the bottom is on it, but I'm sure it's somewhere. It works. Can open that windows as well. Approaching Beddington Lane. Got a zebra crossing here, very cool. Open the doors. And this train is ready to depart. Please find the doors. Next station is Mitcham Junction. Where I believe you can change for fending services. Considering this was made by somebody, not by Dovetail Games or like just trains or armstring powers, they've done a pretty good job actually. It's quite a short route but a lot of detail and work has been put into it. Yeah, I think these lights are wrong. Anyways, doesn't matter too much. But yeah, we're now approaching Mitcham Junction. I 
do have some family living near Mitchum Junction, so never been to the station in real life, but maybe one day I will decide to go. Yeah, this station has two tracks, and I believe those tracks that are coming from the left hand side is where the Fimbling services come from, I believe. Pretty sure, and it's dual track, so it must that's that's the only other piece of track that um. Oh, what am I doing? Oh my god, what am I doing? Okay, for some reason I put the reverse into reverse. I'm not not too sure how I did that, but I somehow did that. So <laughs> apologies for that. Arrived at Mitcham Junction, change here for Famesling services, and I believe even Southern services stop here as well. Sometimes. During peak hours, I believe. Wait, let me take a nice screenshot first. Okay, this train's ready to park. Please mind the doors. Next station is Mitcham. Oh, sorry, dude. I think you missed the train. Maybe he's waiting for a filming service. Now, there is one AI in this scenario, which is a full 55 slash 8. I have installed it, but for some reason it's not loading up for me, so. If you can get that loading, then uh, go for it. It'll be better because you will be able to see some AI during this scenario. Because I don't think there's any AI in this uh, scenario, unfortunately. Apart from that, it is a, a reskin you need to install for it, which is from um, what do you call it, alienworks.com or something like that. So, never heard of that website before, but yeah. Oh, we got a 456 here actually. At least there's some 456s as um, what do you call it, as AI. Would it be nice to be this train to be the next southeastern livery instead of the this livery because obviously all the signs are in network southeast so that would make a lot more sense but I guess they decided to have a Connex livery train for this scenario. We are approaching Mitcham. So we're back on a single piece of track, so I don't think Finling Service is stop here. We did see those two tracks are turning right anyway, so. The amount of graffiti in this scenario at stations is just unbelievable, you know. Okay, we can get going now. Passing Mitchum, next station is Morden Road. Well, I believe if you walk a bit, you can reach our modern station, which is the terminus for the northern line. This route actually would be really cool if they could uh, join this route to the, what do you call it, uh, London Waterloo to Quarter of Route, updated one. But then you could all, you could drive from Waterloo all the way down to I guess um, West Croydon. 
this way, which would be a bit weird, but anyways. That's something that somebody could do. They could do that. Gamesling loop, loop, or Saturn loop, I believe they call it. So we got Morden Road, Merton Park, and then Wimbledon. Then we're going back towards West Croydon, so it's quite a short route. Wimbledon is not too far away from here. I'm pretty sure these stations are for trambling. The trambling. Um, Trams use uh, this route now. These have a train stone run, I believe. If I'm correct. No, we did not want to go emergency, but oh well. I guess we needed it. <laughs> This is Morden Road. Change here for, I guess, I don't know. I'm gonna go to get an overline line from Morden Station, which shouldn't be too far away from me, I guess. But this train is ready to depart, please, man and doors. Next station, Merton Park. I believe the southern uh, livery version of the 456 has a destination board which you can change. I'm pretty sure which is on this side. Unfortunately with this train and livery, uh, this version of the train you don't get one, so we can't change the destination board. So I guess uh, Wimbledon and West Croydon. But we are now arriving at Merton Park. station will be Wimbledon where this train will terminate. At Wimbledon you will open the doors and proceed to change ends. Okay then. Let's get going. Yeah, this part of the route is actually now uh, run by the tram, trams. So this is a very old route. There's actually a station between Merton Park and Wimbledon on the trams, but it's not on this route because I guess that's a new new station. Okay, it's on the map. It's hard actually. Dun Donald's uh, Road. I guess we're not stopping at that station. Actually, Morden Road, you can go to South Wimbledon on Morden, I'm not uh, Morden. You can walk that. And now we've got two tracks coming up to uh, Wimbledon. Really, really cool.
But yeah, that essentially we're just driving the West Croydon to uh, Wimbledon tram part of the route. But yeah, really, really cool. And that route that goes to a Wadden would continue towards, that's where services do still run, towards Sutton. But yeah, we are now arriving at Wimbledon, platform 10. At terminating platform. Yeah, we're going to see any 455s or 450s or 444s, but you never know. We'll stop here. This is Wimbledon where this train will terminate. And yeah, this is obviously. Wimbledon station off the brand new, um, what do you call it? Dovetail Games, Naughty Looty Ports, uh, Portsmouth, what do you call it? Roots. And I believe filming services do continue to Z tracks on a loop. But yeah, we can, um, turn off the lights, switch ends. Oops. work on this side. I left the windows open on the other side but that's okay. Okay these lights are working look. This side the lights seem to be working. And the back of the trains actually working so yeah this side now is actually working but before it wasn't so that was a bit weird. What was what's that? Oh there's a full five five. Oh I guess it is working that's weird. So yeah, this, re this is the reskin that you install on AlienWorks.com, the 455. So it is actually working. I guess some of them are working and some of them are not working, so yeah. As you can see, it's pretty good reskin with the destination board and everything, so... You do need Armstrong Powerhouse Class 455 sound pack to make this uh, reskin work as well, so... Make sure you have that. But yeah, we just got a few minutes wait at Wimbledon while we change ends. I guess in real life you would have at least five minutes change ends anyway. That's our horn, not that one. If you're wondering. While we wait, let's quickly check the map. So yeah, that goes back towards Tooting, around the uh, Sutton Loop. So as you can see, that's kind of like a loop already, that curve. And we came all the way from here to Wimbledon, not Wimbledon, sorry, West Croydon. I don't believe there's a passenger view with the Armstrong Powerhouse 456, which is a bit unfortunate. There is with the Dovetail Games version, which is... You do expect, well, I guess, Armstrong Powerhouse don't really bother with adding passenger views for their products, which is probably the only downside to Armstrong Powerhouse products. Can go up here? No, we can't.
Tommy departing anyway. 11.06. I think we arrived at Wimbledon a bit early, that's probably why we're waiting so long. Yeah, we'll be going to West Croydon, which is only six miles away, so that's nothing, you know. All stations to West Croydon, let's get going. Oh, whoops. It's actually pulling to four, that would help. Is that ETA for West Croydon? No, there isn't. Wimbledon. Our first station will be Merton Park on our way back. Mitchum Junction also serves Southern services, so not just Fameling service, but Southern services as well. So, pretty busy stations, and obviously the tram link. Which is the route that we're tra travelling on today. Merton Park. Got a bench there to be fair. And a bin. And and the time, so not too bad of a station. Next station, Morden Road. I won't go too fast otherwise we'll uh, overshoot the platform because even though it's a small train the, pl the platforms are actually quite small so stopping and do needs to be perfect pretty much Morden Road. Change it for I guess Collins Wood which is like a five minute walk up to five minutes walk 
from here. But according to the tube map on my phone, it takes only up to five minutes. So recently on the tube map, they've added uh, walking distances. So stations where you can walk, where it takes up to five minutes to walk, uh, they've added it to the map. And apparently from here to uh, Collinswood, which is on the Northern Line, uh, it takes five minutes. So we got just over a mile to go till Mitcham. Then we're going to be around at Mitcham Junction. Where you can change for Southern and Finling services. They probably could have added some AI with Southwestern Railway services at um, Wimbledon and obviously uh, Framesling and Southern services near, um, what do you call it, Mitchum Junction, so that's a bit disappointed, but that's okay, I guess. I guess this route is not uh, heavily used anyway, so you wouldn't see much AI anyway. We got Mitchum, Mitchum Junction, Bellington Lane. Ah, uh, what's this? Wadden March, Marsh is it? Yeah, Marsh, and then West Croydon. I think we slowed in a bit early there, but that's okay. Better to be safe. As we approach Mitcham. And this train is ready to depart. Please mind the doors. Next station, Mitcham Junction. Actually, we could do that ourselves, actually. What does that say? Door control key. Have you removed it? No idea. Yeah, where's the fan button anyway? Is it that? No, that's the wipers. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Oh, wait, I think it's... Is that it? Okay, you can change that, but I'm not going to. In case my train breaks or something. This Mitcham Junction has a long platform, so there's no way we're going to overrun that station. We've got a 15 mile an hour to live it anyway, so can't go too fast anyway. Got a yellow signal. Maybe there's a train ahead of us. Is it? No, there's a four, five, six there. And that's where the tracks come from for the filming services. I would really lo love to drive the Sutton Loop in Train Simulator, but maybe someone will, uh, like the one who made this route, could do that. That would be really cool. I even wouldn't mind donated to the guy to be fair. But I'm sure this takes a lot of time and effort to actually meet the roots. Especially when he's doing it for free of charge.
I'm just trying to take a nice screenshot, but I don't think we're gonna get one. That's unfortunate, isn't it? Anyways, next station is Bellington Lane. And that those tracks continue to was Hackbridge, and then I believe it's it's uh, Carl Charlton, and then I believe it's Sutton Station. I didn't look at the two map by the way, so I don't rem I don't actually know those off by heart. It would be cool, but. There's a lot of stations in London and rumouring all the different lines and which station is after each is kind of difficult actually. I'm sure some of you know it a lot better than me. Bennington Lane, Wadden, Marsh, and then West Croydon with this train will terminate. Hopefully, it's slow down actually. Actually, wait here with the cars and see the train pass. That should go up now since our train has passed. Not sure if they do work, but it would be cool to see. Oh, it does work. Nice. Very nice. Is that a new bus? Oh, that's the old bus. Oh, that is a new bus. That's like the more updated. So this is the bus that I have now, actually. The new updated buses. They can uh, go into the bus at the back. And just tap your oyster card and card reader, so that's actually really cool. Modern buses and old buses. But yeah, we just have Warden Marsh, the next station, and then followed by West Croydon.
might as well shot this, but I think we're okay. Yeah, we're good. All aboard, all aboard. Next station was Corona with this train Terminix. All change, please, all change. signal I guess maybe I'm not too sure actually signal's a long way away Fifteen mile an hour speed limits coming up. As we approach West Croydon, where this train will terminate. All change, please. All change. All train terminates here. And we are going back to the same platform, termination platform. All change please, all change. This train terminates here. And go West Croydon. Yeah. Well done, you have completed the scenario successfully. Thank you very much. So yeah guys, that was the last day on the South London Wimbledon to West Croydon route. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one, if you did, give it a like, share it with friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.